Alright, so I'm back later on in the day. I filmed two videos earlier today. I don't know in what order I'm going to upload things, but... Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready for it? I have a Sephora haul here for you. JK, everybody, this is the haul. Oh my god. This is... This is heavy. I'm going to put this down now. Holy crap. And first and foremost, I'm not going to go in any order, but this just happens to be on the top of the pile, okay? First and foremost, apparently I've spent enough money to do this. By the way, this is going to get really long, all right? I hope I'm going to have enough, like, battery space but this is going to get really long. I'll try not to ramble too much, but I'm not making any promises. Okay. I wasn't aware that there was a way to check how much money you have spent throughout the year. I wish that I never checked that because now I want to bury my head in the sand somewhere because this is embarrassing. But apparently, I did this. It's... Like, part of me wants to feel proud because I've spent enough money to do this, but another part of me just wants to hang my head in shame and just never look at anybody ever again. It says, welcome to the top. There's a special place for people with a serious beauty addiction. It's called VIB Rouge. I call it insanity. I got this little... Wow, that was, that was perfect. You guys all saw that, that was perfect. I got this little Bite Beauty lipstick. It's very sweet. It's very tiny. Very cute. Um, so that, that was that. Not all of this is from Sephora. Not all of it is makeup. I'm just going to reach into this bag. Okay, it's going to be a surprise. It's going to be a surprise for me and it's going to be a surprise for you. Like I said, not all of it's from Sephora. A couple things are from drugstore.com or beauty.com, whatever, they're the same thing. A uh, couple things are from Amazon, I think. A couple things are from Ulta. Whatever. It's just a big mishmash of stuff that I have accumulated over the past month or so. So, anyway, let's do this. Grab yourself a beverage and a snack or whatever. I feel like every haul video I've seen recently says something like that, so I felt like I needed to throw my own into the mix. But anyway, so first of all, we have the Lorac... Mega Pro palette. Everybody is going nuts over this palette, and I guess that's justified. It's a nice palette. Yeah, I've messed around with it a couple times. The quality is more or less the same as the other two Pro palettes. So yeah. This is the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Celebration palette, which is limited edition for, I guess, the holiday season. I am obsessed with the first Naturally Pretty palette. I love it to death. So, naturally pretty. No, that doesn't make sense. Naturally, I had to get this one, and I do really like it. Again, much like the Lorac Pro, Pro Mega, no, Mega Pro palette, the quality of the shadows in this palette are more or less the same as the first Naturally Pretty palette. So, no complaints there. I have not really messed around with this one, I don't think. I think maybe I've used it once. I have a lot of stuff here, and to be honest with you, most of this stuff has literally been sitting in this bag. Well, this is a new bag, but it was sitting in a big box for quite some time, waiting to do a video, so... I got another Buxom lip gloss. This is a full-on lip cream. Some of the stuff is still in, like, their boxes. I don't know why I did that. This is in Mudslide. I was going to get the lavender one because I really like, like, purpley lips. I don't know. It's a thing I'm into. Um, I was going to get that one, but when I was swatching them in Sephora, I didn't really like it. I thought that it was way too pale, and I do not like pale on me. I just don't like it. So, I got Mudslide. I really like it. I've looked at this one for quite some time, and I finally grabbed it. This is a very, very brand new thing. I was waiting on one more box to arrive today from Sephora, and this was in that. So, I haven't even touched this. So, this is the Sephora Kiss Kiss Gloss Rose Universal. 
oh wait, no. The uh, Kiss Kiss Universal Pink Gloss, I don't know. It's just in this really decently sized tin. It's got quite a bit of, it's got a little bit of glue there too to hold it in its little sleeve thing. And I guess you can give this to somebody because it says to and love. What if I don't love that person I'm giving it to? What if I just wanted to say from? I don't like that they don't give me that option. This is a Nails Ink nail polish and this is their Snowflake polish from I guess the White Chapel line. It's White Chapel Snowflake or something. Let's see if I can get this prettiness to show up for you. I hope that it's showing up and I hope that the glare on this cap isn't too much but I don't know it's it's really pretty in the bottle um, I got this Tarte gifted Amazonian clay smart mascara I'll take it out for you show you what it looks like even though everybody has seen it come on okay can I just be honest <laughs> I hate this packaging I think this is hideous I don't know I see some people who are like oh my god look at this beautiful packaging it's a matter of opinion, I guess, because I think this is hideous, but I've heard a lot of people talk about this mascara, so I wanted to try it. I have one and two of the Dior Quince. And once again, in the packaging, this is like wasting time, isn't this? Do I want to keep this? No. All right, so this is one of their older ones, okay? And this is in... Let's... This is in Grage. These are beautiful, okay? I haven't tried Dior eyeshadows ever. I am a sucker for high-end shadow, okay? I love high-end shadow, and these are beautiful. I see a lot of complaints about them, though. I don't know why. And this is one of the newer ones. This one is in Bar. This is in Bar. Um, I know that my friend Shawna is going to laugh at me because I was going back and forth about what really expensive fancy shadows I was going to get. And we were going back and forth between this one and there was a um, Dolce & Gabbana one that I was looking at, which I'm probably going to get eventually, but let's not go there right now. Um, and then we decided, okay, get Grage because that one's more like every day. But I got this still anyway, so, you know a sickness. This is totally in no order, okay? I want to just mention that again. This was at Target, and I really, really like the clear uh, brand of hair care. So they had this, and this is new, and I was looking for a, um, like a deep conditioner because I haven't had one in a really long time, and even though my hair isn't like damaged or anything, I do like to you know, deep condition my hair like once a week or so. So this is the Clear Scalp and Hair Beauty Therapy Intense Hydration Deep Hydrating Treatment Mask. Oh my god, can they make these names any longer? So that's just that. I've used it once and it's nice. It's, it's luxurious. I got this. This is the Rainforest After Dark palette from Tarte. I think everybody has seen this at this point. Everybody was talking about this for like months. And I didn't get it because I'm like, I don't need it. And I kept going back and forth with it because I had it in my cart and then I would talk myself out of it because I'm like, do I really need that? Apparently I needed it. This is one of those things that is really, really good for when you don't know what to wear. And I mean, everything is just all in one. I really like that. There's like no guesswork. And I love that. This is a Revlon lip butter. And if you guys followed over from my old channel, Bombaholic TV, which I haven't even been on in like a year and a half. I don't know why I still reference it, but whatever. You'll know that I I don't like these. Okay, I really don't like these. But Strawberry Sweet, I can't remember if she has any numbers in her name. That's a little embarrassing. But Anyway, she had mentioned this in one of her um, Project Pan videos about how she really liked it. And she's really pale, like yours truly. So I was like, you know what? Let me give this a shot. And that's that's what that looks like. So I got this in 
Porchester Square. This is a nail polish from them that I've been looking at for a couple years now. So I'm glad that I finally got it. But look at the size difference. Excuse me. Look at the size difference on those things. Like, it is it is significantly different. There is almost twice the amount in here than there is in here. This is something else that I grabbed from Target. This is actually my second one. This is the Herbal Essences Naked Cleansing Conditioner. Looks like that. It has a pump on it. <laughs> Clearly I haven't used it yet because the pump is still sitting in there. This is good shit. <sighs> Here is a duo from Bare Minerals. I have used this. This is one that I have wanted for a really long time. This is the Epiphany. Beautiful. I have a Benefit blush here. I have a Benefit blush and this is in Rocketeur. I've wanted this for a long time. It's got the little brush thing in there but let's... That's, that's what it looks like. This is old news, honestly. This is really old news but I have wanted it for a really long time and it's beautiful. I haven't actually worn it on my cheeks but I have swatched it. And I'm sorry that I'm not swatching anything today, but that would just make this video way, way, way too long. But that's a really pretty blush. This is Makeup Forever's Smoky Lash. This is one of my favorite mascaras of all time, so I figured, okay, why not grab one while it's 20% off, you know what I'm saying? I got a Formula X nail polish. I've never tried these. This is an Alchemy. A bunch of people have been talking about this on blogs and stuff, so I thought that I would just get it. Here I have a Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow. This is in Soft Linen, I believe. Yes. This is in Soft Linen. Um, my friend Shauna inspired me to get this. Uh, Makeup by Tiffany D also inspired me to get this. I haven't actually tried this on my eyes. Oh, this is a new thing. This is a new thing that just came today. This is one of the new, I guess newer, I've never seen them before, but I don't know how old they are. Um, Laura Mercier Rouge Nuevo Weightless Lip Color. And this is in Sin. This is such sleek packaging. I love lipsticks that come in like these long, slim packaging. Oh god so pretty. It feels so luxurious whipping it out of my bag, you know? It does say Laura Mercier. I was like, where does it say Laura Mercier on it? It does. It says it on the cap. This is in Sin. And I know that looks like darkish, right? But it's one of the sheer lipsticks, so it looks like that. Oh man, that doesn't really smell like anything. But that's really pretty. I'm really gonna enjoy that. Oh! Oh my god. Okay. You know what this is? This is the Kevin O'Quan Celestial Powder. Oh my god. This is what the product looks like. I thought that this was going to be too dark for me, but it actually isn't as a highlight. It's so beautiful. It really is so freaking beautiful. This is a 100 point perk actually but I was excited to get it. <laughs> this is the Dior Show Iconic Overcurl Mascara. That's going with the mascaras that aren't going to be used just yet. I have like multiples of some things that I want to like show you all at once, so I'm trying to get everything together. Um, this is the Tony Moly. The name of this is like Bobo or something. I don't know, but it's a lip balm. And I was really afraid because I got the honey scented one and I didn't realize that I got the honey scented one. I thought I was going to get the blueberry but I grabbed the honey instead. But that's fine because this does not smell like actual honey. I mean it does but it's got like a, a perfumed scent to it which makes it so much better in my opinion. I do not like straight up honey scented lip balm. It smells disgusting to me which is funny because I love honey. I eat honey on just about everything. Um, but this is really nice lip balm. I'm gonna review this on my blog. I don't know when, but it will be on there. My blog link will be down below, so you guys can check that out. I know I have several of these. Where's the other? Okay. <sighs> I have four Maybelline color tattoos. You like this? Pinkies up. This one is in Vintage Plum, and I will tell you right now, 
that of all of these, this is the one that is the biggest disappointment to me. I mean, none of them are like bad, but this one is somewhat of a disappointment. I find that it kind of applies patchy and that's not really that good, but it's not, you know, a deal breaker either. Uh, this is in creamy beige. I'm sorry, I'm not really showing you. I hope you can see through there. This is in creamy beige. I really wanted a dupe for Max um, Groundwork, and I'm not purchasing from Mac or any Estee Lauder companies anymore. That'll possibly be in another video. Uh, so I wanted a dupe for Groundwork, and Shauna said that that was a very good one. So this is inked in pink. I hope you can see these. And this is in bad to the bronze. Oh. I don't know why I got this. <laughs> you ever get anything and you're like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna grab that and you do. And then you think about it later on and you're like, why did I get that? I got the Urban Decay Naked Basics 2 palette. And I will say that I haven't tried this on my eyes yet, much like many other things in here, but I will say that I do prefer it over the uh, basics, the first basics palette. Um, I like that these colors aren't as harsh, if that makes sense. I like that these aren't as harsh as in the first one, like they're not as dark and I find that the there's more of a gradient, you know, going from light to dark and I do prefer that. Here's another mascara. This is, uh, well, it was a 100 point perk, but this is the Marc Jacobs Omega Lash sample. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. I think Trooper is the only color that you can get this in, but I'm not using this yet, so I haven't tried it yet. I have a, um, a couple other liners that I'm trying to get through before I use this one, but I've been wanting to try this for quite some time, so I got it while, I, while it was on sale. Was that a bug? Did you see a bug? Another 100 point perk. This is a Nest fragrance, a Midnight Fleur. I've smelled this and I don't like it. Uh, I'm not saying that it's all that bad. Well, first of all, I love the packaging. I think this is such a pretty little bottle. But this smell is just, it's kind of too much in my opinion. It's kind of too much. Well, right now it doesn't smell that bad, but when I first put it on, it's like, oh god, it's too much, it's crazy. This was another Ulta purchase, it was kind of, not really an impulse buy, but kind of, you know, it, it was kind of premeditated, but I didn't really expect to get one. So this is one of their long-lasting lipsticks from Essence. Did I say the brand name? It's Essence. One of their long-lasting lipsticks in Wear Berries. I don't know. I've worn it a couple of times. I think it's all right. It's nice. This is a Maybelline Real Impact Great Lash Mascara. I've used this once. I do really like it. I don't know how it compares to regular Great Lash because honestly, I haven't used that in like probably about 15 years. So I don't know. But this is this is actually pretty nice. I feel like it's gotten some shitty reviews. I don't know. I find that it's like, there's no real volume with it, but it does have length. And that's more of what I look for. So whatever. Like I said, I like it. This is a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. And this is in Copenhagen. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this. I've been really wanting to try like really, really dark vampy lips, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on something I wasn't really gonna wear or maybe not wear. I mean, look at look at that. That is really dark. So I was bitten by the audacious bug, like everybody. I have four of them, and I'm kind of torn on them, which is probably the one and only time that you're gonna hear somebody say that because everybody just loves them for good reason. Okay, I think that they are a really good lipstick. Um, Lorraine Stanek, the current custom, describes them as a solid lipstick. 
And I would agree with that. I think that they are. But they're really, really pigmented. And I know that that's one of their selling points. But I don't always want a pigmented lipstick. I feel like I'm the only person I know who feels that way. But sometimes I want something more natural, you know? And that's why I tend to lean towards sheer lipsticks. I think these are the only like pigmented lipsticks that I have in my entire collection. But I do like the ones that I get. I get? I got. And I do wear them. It's not like I don't. But I don't know if I would get any more of them. We'll see. Probably at some point, let's be honest. But anyway, this is Raquel. This is Anna. This is Barbara, which I feel like has been sold out everywhere for a while. I got mine off of the Barney's website. And this one is Dominique. And I know how highly coveted this one is. And this was the first one that I was really like, I want that. Uh, and then somehow I ended up getting three others to make up for the fact that I couldn't get this. And then finally Barney's had it back on their website. And then my friends, I got six of these Alme Color Plus Care Liquid Lip Balms or whatever, and I can't tell you what all of the color names are because I can't actually read them. They're too tiny on the bottom, but I got six of them. This is what they look like. They are such a beautiful lip product. I, at all times, I have one of these in my bag. I love them. They're so good. I seriously cannot wait to put all this stuff away, and we're coming to the end. Thank God. <laughs> so this you guys saw in my face of the day. This is the Burberry eyeshadow in smoke gray. Is that showing up? Yeah. There, um, oh, I don't know. There's like a shadow or something. I don't know. Let's not go crazy here. That's smoke gray. I love Burberry eyeshadows. I think that they're beautiful, as they should be for $29 a pop. Uh, I got a Laura Mercier caviar stick in Amethyst. I feel like th this is kind of old news, but I've been wanting one for a while. And Shauna convinced me to get this one, so I did. I was going to grab another one, but... I had gotten to a point where I was like, okay, I really need to take it easy. <laughs> I don't know what the name of this is, okay? This is a little CoverGirl eyeliner. It's a liquid liner. Looks like this. And you, if I can, you unscrew the cap and the liner is like this. Um, I want to say this is like the bombshell or, or blackout. I, I don't remember the name of it. I will look that up and find it for you, but... I don't know, it's a liquid liner, it's alright. I got it because I thought it was cute. This is CoverGirl Plus Olay, the de-puffer under eye concealer, or eye concealer, whatever. I love this concealer, okay, I really do. I haven't worn it in a little while because it's been in here, but it's got this like nice metal uh, little applicator that you're supposed to like, you know, go like this. Like literally the directions I believe on the packaging were squeeze out a small amount and rub back and forth for 20 seconds under the eye. That doesn't really blend it in very well, but I find it very soothing. So I do that and then I go in with like a brush. <sighs> this is like my new obsession. Okay, this is one of the new Dior Rouge Bombs. Rouge Dior Balm, and this is in Lily, or Lily, I don't know, but it is just beautiful, like, okay, I feel like this is Dior's answer to, like, the Rouge Coco Shines from Chanel, and I like this so much more, it, it is just so beautiful, even the packaging is kind of similar, I feel, um, this was a hundred point perk, this is another of the little... Formula X nail polishes, and this is in A+, I believe. I don't normally buy myself perfume, but like I said, I, w I was like out of control. So this is very irresistible from Givenchy, or however you pronounce that. 
there's a little bit of a story behind this one. Okay, I had gotten one of those paper scent sample type of things in like an Ulta catalog brochure type of thing. And <laughs> it had been sitting next to my computer and I hadn't like smelt it or anything, but it had been sitting next to my computer and I kept smelling it like, what is that? And I'm like, that is so good. Oh my God. And it ended up being this and I was obsessed. I just kept smelling this piece of paper and I kept it sitting next to my computer so that every now and then I could just like reach over, grab it and take a whiff, you know, because it smelled so good. So I wasn't going to get this. I was going to ask for it for Christmas or my birthday, but I was like, I can't get it out of my mind. I got to get it. So I did. And it's, it's a very nice bottle. The cap kind of annoys me because it only goes on a certain way. It like follows the contours of the bottle but my god it smells so good it's so floral and feminine and that's really not me i'm more of a like a musky masculine type of scent person or i like um like musky sweet scents but this is very feminine it's very feminine but it's really pretty oh my god we're really really down to the bottom here this is probably where my camera is going to cut off all right i got a hand cream this is hand food not using it yet because um i don't know what video is going up but in my six before new year i'm trying to use up another hand cream so this i'm not using yet but i've had it before and i do like it hate the scent absolutely hate the scent but the hand cream itself is really nice this is snow angel from philosophy this is one of my absolutely favorite shower gels of life i love this stuff so much oh my god it is just the cleanest most beautiful scent on the planet i might actually go back and get another one of these before it's gone until next year just because I love it so much. The last thing. We've come down to the end of the bag. Okay? Look at it. Look at it. It's empty. It's an empty cavern of a giant bag. Okay. The last thing. Whoa. I was off camera. <laughs> the last thing is another Dior product. I kind of went a little Dior crazy. I don't know what happened. This is one of their mono fusion eyeshadows. Okay, so this is a Mirage. And guys, this is my new obsession. I feel like I didn't intentionally save the best for last, but that's kind of how it worked out. So this is Mirage. I'm gonna swatch this. I'm gonna do it. Oh my god, the texture of it is so beautiful. There it is on my flange. When I got this in the mail, I think it was earlier in the week, I just I just kept like running my finger in there and I'm like, mmm, wasting products, but mmm. Like compared to like these or MAC paint pots or something, oh, I will take this any day. It's so good. I want more of them. I want them all. That's not true because some of those colors don't appeal to me, but mmm, God, I want to collect them. Okay. They're... There was a lot. There was a lot of stuff here, I'm not gonna lie, but we got through it, we got through it together, and I hope that I didn't leave you with like a 30 minute long video. That would be embarrassing. I just, I just kind of went insane. I don't know what happened. I was even, I, I was telling Danny this, okay? I was telling him this yesterday. I'm like, I don't know what happened to me. Like this past month, I mean, a couple of these things were premeditated. But a lot of this other stuff, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened to me, but it did. It happened. We can't live with regrets. I have a lot of new stuff to play with. I hope that you guys enjoyed this ridiculously ridiculous haul. And I will talk to you guys later. Ta-ta. I was checking to see if I had swatchy fingers, but not really. Ta-ta.